What is going on, everybody? Jumbo Thick here, back with more Ikit Claws campaign. This will be episode three of our Mortal Empires campaign with the one and only Ikit Claw. So, a little bit has transpired since um, our uh, <laughs> fiasco that, that was Ikit Claw getting stomped into nothingness. I rebuilt his army. Um, a little bit from the ground up, mostly. Uh, we are still currently trying to conquer what is left of Astalia. But I was pursued by the remnants of the Beastmen Herd. So this gives me a pretty good opportunity to um, end them completely because they have nothing but unwar raiders. A shitload of them. Now the most dangerous things they have are the two Minotaurs and of course the Saigor. So I have the Plague Cloud Catapult, and I've got multiple gu uh, Rattling Gunners. I've got Rat Ogres. We've got all kinds of stuff to deal with them. Of course, you know, being a, a proper Skaven, I'm going to throw in uh, the Chaff <laughs> before I actually... The Chaff meaning the Garrison before I actually endanger any of my own precious rats. So we will be doing that um, hopefully ahead of time. And uh, yeah, let's get this dude going. All right, so we want to actually use our garrison. I don't know why I'm... S I have all my catapults, but I'm still kind of hurt. That's fine. So what we're actually going to do is we are going to set the catapult up back here. Um, yeah, we'll leave them on guard mode, though. Let's uh, put a line of spearmen. Right here, they are going to be there to soak up anything. I'm going to run these rats as quickly as I can over this hill and hopefully um, intercept the charges of everybody coming in. These night runners are going to actually soak up a lot. They can um, counter skirmish pretty well. Why are you not showing me your. There we go. They have pretty good range. They've got uh, 140. I want to say the Ungors is much less than that. Um, they're hidden right now, but get that going. We have the Rat Ogres to hopefully stop the Minotaurs from just running amok. Kind of hide them behind the crest of this hill. We also have the Rattling Guns, which are also likewise going to be kind of hiding back here away from the... Uh, Prying eyes. Now this is a special unit of Jezzles. No, it's not. This is the regular unit of Jezzles. <laughs> They're just currently hidden. Oh wow. Okay. Uh. Yeah, well, I guess we'll leave you there. And then we'll have um, clan rats right here on this flank, and of course the mighty Ikit in all his glory. And he is glorious. Oh, yes. Mighty Ikit will be leading his his rats. Uh, maybe put him right here. Get a, get a couple little shots off. Uh, take the skirmish mode off. Skirmish mode ruins everything. And I guess we'll do it like that. And I will be pushing in our reserves as soon as possible. So you start running them. All these reserves that are coming in. I'm just going to run them in. Run them all in. I want them to eat the charge. I want to kind of keep them separate so I realize which ones are which. But looks like they're not going to make it. So we are just going to run them uh, this way as best we can. We got Warhounds here. That sucks. Let's run these guys back. Alright. Slow this down for a second. Uh, we'll go ahead and take some pot shots. I want to hit the Minotaurs if we can. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a thing. The Saigor is just going to hammer away at us. There's nothing we can do about that. I will, however, move the... 
Should I move them up here? No, they're going to be shooting into the tree line. It's a bad spot. Let's kind of move these guys around the flank, and then we'll um, shoot down the flank that way. And these guys can just eat everything. I don't care what happens to them. If I can get them to engage these guys and wear them down, all the better. Then over there. Alright, so this is where we begin pursuing. Because they are severely overextended with their lack of actual troops. They just have a whole bunch of missile troops. Right, they got caught. It's fine. We'll bring in those guys. Can I start uh, shooting into someone else, please? You guys likewise start looking over here. Where's that other group of Minotaurs? They're actually getting destroyed. Right, let's start moving up. Oh yeah, we are just going to hammer through the rest of these guys. It's going to be a massacre. And Ikit is destroying the uh, <laughs> the Beast Lord. That was kind of unexpected. None of them are going to stand and fight. Yeah, the Beast Men are just going to break. That's just, that's kind of their thing. So we are just going to keep hammering home. Keep looking for opportunities to hunt them down. Just hammer away at all of them. Awesome. Yeah, how are you guys not killing these guys yet? Yeah, that's the only problem with beast men. They just keep... Coming back. <laughs> they're just like green skins when I playing that. Okay, they're off running. Let's go ahead and take care of these spearmen. These ungores. Let's watch uh, let's watch our rattling gunners delete them real quick. Actually. I wanna see this happen. Yes! Oh the carnage. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, that was impressive. Against um, counter skirmish, skirmishing is kind of like what we're doing with these guys. It, this, it's going to be beyond easy. The only thing we got to worry about is that damn Saigor. Damn, broke. Move these guys up and have them start taking shots at the Saigor, actually. You. Up there. Move you guys out here now that they're all dead. All of them. So we're going this way. I could have been doing this all along. That's fine. We don't need that. all these people to win. Delete these ungores as well. <laughs> yes. There's more lightning to come down, smash you. Yeah, they broke pretty easily. They turned into an all-out route. Which actually made it a little bit harder on me to manage because they're just, yeah, as you can see, all my troops are just completely spread out. Alright, so the leader's dead. They're going to be breaking any second now. It gets destroyed him. Alright, 
As soon as the rat ogres get in a range, yeah. They are gonna hightail it, and I actually really want them to finish him off if they can. Then we can pursue and crush. Yeah, so we'll fast forward through this as they beat the Cygore to death, hopefully. Pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Come on. Dead. Easily. <laughs> They've got nothing left. They are going to be prime pickings. Yeah, we got plenty of food. Let's go and eat them. <laughs> the truth's gave it away. Yes, yes. I can destroy beast thing. Right. And this isn't even worth fighting now. Uh, this time we will get some food. Alright. So, now that that has been taken care of... I also um, built some of the rubbish pits and the other little doodads so I can get um, get access to these so I can start actually putting uh, more research into them as we go. Warp lightning. Let's see here. Ikit. Um, I do like using him for all the goodies here. I will probably get him on the Doom Wheel eventually. So I might just skip the Doom Flare. So, with that in mind, I kind of want to get Renowned and Feared, but he's going to have a lot of really expensive units. So, cutting down the cost is going to be key at the moment. Um, what do I have here? Yeah, we've almost got Storm Vermin, which is... I really need, like, a halfway decent front line here. Um, I can... I can get another Plague Claw Catapult. I really don't want one. Um... Gutter Runners would be much more superior over the just standard troops that I've got right now. Let's, uh, let's park it in right here. Actually. Well, shit. That's alright. We can use some fresh troops. So what do we want? I want just like a crazy amount of just death raining upon people. So let's get another weapons team. Yes, yes. And let's get one more uh, Jezal. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, we're going to swap out some of the... We're going to swap out the shield units for... Um, uh, standard... Uh, shit... Storm Vermin. Jeez, I don't know why I couldn't think of that for a second. Um, eventually, we'll swap out these Rat Ogres for Hell Pit Abominations. And I probably am going to drop the, the drop the Plague Claw <laughs> Catapult for some um, a Warp Lightning Cannon. Because they're just that awesome. And then I'll probably swap out the Night Runners once I finally get access to Doom Flayers. To uh, kind of get the... Uh, the the, the Scryer Techno theme going again. But the Rattling Gun weapons teams, as you can see, are just ridiculously good. Though there is a lot to micro. So, uh, I don't know. And then, of course, we need to resettle uh, Marguerite here. So let's go ahead and start running our little engineer up this way. We have established a few... Just, just a handful of little um, underway repertoires, uh, under cities to funnel away some cash. It might be beneficial to send him to Sartosa, or recruit another one and send him to Sartosa. I don't see myself taking it, though I might one day.
I could send my little rat all the way up to Corona right now and establish something. Or, in all reality, sending one to Ulthwan would probably be the most beneficial. Um, it's not too far from where we're at. That might be a, a good idea. I do remember one of the um, one of the viewers actually gave that suggestion. That's actually a, a pretty damn good suggestion early on. Capitalize on all the money from the settlement. Dwarves are having a hard time containing the greenskins. That's good for me. <laughs> I do plan on nuking the Wood Elves at some point. Who knows how long that could take. Now that the Beastmen are gone, 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 dead things, dead. Um, we got our rubbish pit, which means we can do this now. And then I can get rid of it. As soon as it's done. One more round for these guys, which means I can actually put them in that now to heal them up a little more. <sighs> the damn beastmen <laughs> just destroyed everything. Uh, you know what? I'm taking my own. I'm taking uh, my my viewers' advice. We're gonna go over to Lothurn. Lothurn's a major money maker. We'll send our little rat over there. Have him sneak onto the elf thing's homeland and establish a little, little, little present. Wow, they lost uh, Miraglionico. Huh. Okay. They're gonna try to recover as best they can. That's fine. Um, I don't know if I want to upgrade that yet. It would give me access to assassins. So yeah, actually, I do want to upgrade that. I would love to have an assassin in this army as well. Maybe drop um, a couple units. There's a couple units I could afford to get rid of. But man, that's all we can do right now. We don't have a ton of a ton of extra money to start another army with, which is really what we need to be doing here. We need to be expanding. I only have one problem. <laughs> Run problems. Oh god, we had such a bad start. That was foolish moves on my part, is what uh, what put us in this position. Hmm. I can dig us out, though. I've got faith. As long as chaos doesn't start evading immediately, we should have uh, a decent time, a decent amount of time to come back. Okay, so they're going to take it back. They would make prime pickings right now. The <laughs> Talayans are weak. Weak, weak, man things. Weak. Weak flesh. God, there's so many factions <laughs> this early in the game. <laughs> Whew. Okay, now I can get rid of it and get something else in its place. Uh, probably need to put some walls there is what I actually need to do. Science. Now we'll move back to Tabaro. Alright, Storm Vermin. That's what we need. We need Storm Vermin. Um, I kind of want the short sword and shield version because these guys can kind of just hold the line, you know, as meat shields. Um, which... They are meat shields now, <laughs> so that's pretty nice. <laughs> um, these guys aren't, though. Well, now they are. They're considered meat shields. Eh. Oh, well. Um, let's do it this way. Where are my schematics? No, no. I'm going to get rid of you as well. So I want... Um, how many do I want? I need a solid core of storm vermin. Three? 
to really bolster the line. Three three units of storm vermin. Two more spears. And then as soon as this is done, two more turns on that. How long is it going to take? It takes two turns. Yeah. Then we will be able to get an assassin in our army. So we'll be able to pick off um, lords and heroes and stuff like that that Ikit Claw might have a hard time with, though he is pretty damn good in a fight. But I want him more focused on casting and being able to maneuver around the battlefield. So yeah, uh, the army's starting to shape up, shape up indeed. So let's see here. Um, casualty replenishment, hell yes. That's uh, that's pretty much a no-brainer in pretty much every campaign. So let's go ahead and end that turn. We're going to be burning through a bunch of turns here. Now our assassin doesn't have to stay in our army. He can kind of rove around and do things in the meantime. So we might have him do that. Just kind of scout ahead, and then when we go to actually get into a battle, you pop him in, which is, in my opinion, the best way to use your heroes, is not to just leave them in your armies unless they're dedicated. Oh, shit. Yep, saw that one coming. They want some now, the damn wood elves. That's fine. Ikit fears no elf thing. Though the, the Wood Elves seriously can put a hurting on you if you if you don't take their, their threats too seriously. So, oof. That could end up being costly to us. Anytime now. Jeez, we're just now into Bretonia. One more turn, oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah, we definitely need a wall. So, yeah, we're, we're starting to build walls. Um, oh, man, I really want... I need that shipwreck. Can he get to it? Yeah, when, as soon as he's done, we'll have him come capture that. And then I'm going to start another um, lord, actually. Oh, I forgot we still have him. Should we wait? Yeah, we can wait and just have him kind of raid every now and then. Kind of run around the map, collect things, do some raiding. Because you don't want him to turn on you. That's the biggest problem with Skaven. Is you don't want them to turn on you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we get, uh, get him back. He's super loyal. Warlock, master of we'll give him some shitty units, some really shitty units, um, like not not Skaven slave shitty units, but we'll give him some clan rats. And then yes, maybe we do give him some say Skaven slave spears. <laughs> And then, like, uh, like, uh, I don't know. Some night, a night runner. You know, just to start off. Something cheap. Well, that's not really that cheap now, is it? If we're gonna go cheap, something decent, we should give him, like, a damn rattling gun or something. No, 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 no. Cheap. We're going cheap. Kind of a mercenary army, definitely, you know, Skaven themed. And we found the elf things. Homeland. Ulthwan. Oh, 
Okay, somebody destroyed what was left of the orcs. I'm assuming that was probably the uh, the dwarfs. I can almost guarantee it was. Getting brave, Talia, or Tilia. I'm not sure which one is which. <laughs> yeah, I got a feeling they're going to try to make a move on me. Break water. March advance when ready. Blast wars. Okay, we're in the negatives now. That's not a good sign. He still got That's all cheap. It's all cheap. Cheap cheap. It'll be fine. We're in the negatives just for a moment. Um I want to say oh shit. Take it, take the shipwreck. Explore the island. We could take him. We could use the, uh... Get at least one. Yeah, to kind of hem up the uh, the mortars or something like that. Murder, death, We're gonna have to fight it so that we don't lose any key units right now. We don't have a, a stacked set of uh, an army yet. Oh, it is looking pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. We've got all our meat shields to absorb all of the fire. Um, the strong core to protect Ikit. We could probably afford to gamble those wins there. Can I get you back here? Now, I want to say we probably don't have them in range. We do. Oh, shit, yeah. So we can actually chill out. Uh, we got him well in range with the, uh, yeah, probably the uh, deckhand mob are probably the most dangerous ones there. Put you guys on the skirmish. Let's keep the rattling guns um, somewhat hidden. We'll bring them out at the last second. The night runners can... Stick and move. We should be out of range, right? Yeah, we're out of range out of everything except for the mortars. So we're going to open up right there. Have them retreat. Likewise, you guys are going to stick with the rattling gunners. My Jezile teams are going to stay here. You're going to hammer down on anything coming over. And you guys are just going to soak up all the artillery fire. My storm vermin I'm going to stay hidden right there. I get you right here. This should be a cakewalk. Should be, but uh, it rarely ever is. Have you guys just start hammering away until they get within range? Yeah, look at the damage. Good damage. Retreat, retreat. How in the name? He's not hidden. That's why. Get you hidden again. Oh yeah, this is turning out pretty good. I'll keep drawing them in. Keep drawing them away from the artillery pieces, and the menace below will take care of that. Like so. Let's 
to. They're, they're just going to eat up these mortars now. Or at least distract them momentarily. Or distract them barely at all and get uh, destroyed in the process. I took one of them offline, so that's better than nothing, I suppose. Keep retreating. And now we reveal our hand with the rattling guns. Bring out the big guys over here. You guys retreat even further back. And we're just going to be picking apart these guys. Take out this kind of mob. Why not? Well, I could have been moving you guys the whole time to come in and swing around and just annihilate them. That's fine, though. Now it's skirmishing fire on skirmishing fire. Uh, let's bring you guys right about there and just have you just mow through everything that they have. You guys come here, swing around. Yeah, the night runners are doing pretty good. We could do better, though. Get around and get a good flank. And even our little chafe units are holding their own at this moment. Bring you guys in. Take care of that. Destroy that gunnery mob real quick, would you? Shit, you guys don't have a good arc of fire, do you? They're hitting them, just not that, not as well as I'd hope. Move up. Oh, full route here. Oh shit, one of our storm vermin routed. Took too much damage. This is pretty much a route on their part. Uh, they're crumbling. It was... It was going to happen. There was no way they were going to get out of this. Come on, take down that Admiral. Come on, guys. So put some shots on him. There we go. <laughs> oh, the rattling guns are just too good. I mean, he is crumbling, but still. That was a forlorn conclusion. We knew that was going to happen. Um, just to make up for the losses we're taking right now. Oh, nice. Well, let's move us out of this damn storm. Yeah. Keep making those units cheaper. See, now we're... Look at this. We're already positive just with that little, that little drop there. And actually, he might be able to take these guys if we get all these real quick. Because he's actually not that much of a slouch when it comes to, you know, the warp lightning and whatnot. But, I also want him to be a big ambush kind of person. So, we'll get that going as well. Um, what commissions do I have got? Just for Storms and Demon. Oh yeah, I gotta get somebody to this Lanho Peck. Okay, maybe after he establishes the... Under Empire at uh, Lothurn here. I won't be able to do that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and end the turn. 
Got some cash from the undead fools. Dead things! should get some trade going with somebody. Another Skaven or Treacherous, but uh, <laughs> they might make good trading partners if we could find someone. Orcs can't trade, unfortunately. Dark Elves would make good trading partners if we could find some. Freaking knew it. They're they're messing with me. You bastards. So here's what I think is going to happen now. Ikit is going to have to take the fight to Tilia. Crush them. Crush the few foolish foolish man things and let our other warlord um, start resettling what's left of Miraglianico. He can take me. Yeah, we're doing this. You guys are dead meat. And it's an ambush. Yeah. Dead. Should not have come over here. Oh, yeah, we'll get more food. And yeah, he's going to start resettling. So let's actually move him here. Why is that? This is the mountain pass. Warlock engineer. <laughs> Sucks. We gotta reset old mirror and go go though. Um, let's keep the ambush up. Do I have anything I want to get, Ikit? Oh yes, we wanted to recruit a new hero. So yeah. We are... Oh, we can get two assassins. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Okay, that's really good. An additional 10%. Man, that's too good to pass up. Only in owned regions, though. Hmm. Hmm. Mutual psychology is fantastic for Skaven. Yeah, we're going to put him in there. Oh, we might actually put another. Once we start establishing more of these ports, because that's where all our uh, all our money's going to be coming from. Uh, so I guess that's all we can do for this turn, isn't it? Unless, did you make it? Me, me. Blast wars. How did you not? There we go. Yes. All right, so we got something under lock right now. Uh, what? Oh, it's in local buildings. Let's get the block army. Why not? Um, but now we have this. Yes. So we definitely want to be making a lot of money off of them. So let's figure out how we can do that. Okay. this mm, okay no that's not good uh, where's the money there's the money so this just gives standard money this gives you from the settlement that's what we want up to 50% off the settlement above yes please and then we'll put in uh, some murder holes while we're no we won't we're gonna wait till we build up some more cash then we will do that. <laughs> um, but let's send you to Zlanhwapek. Start sending him this way. We, okay, are we? Where is he? Diabolical. 
Oh god, it's gonna be a while. We're gonna get him in the, in the general vicinity. That's what we'll do. Where are my schematics? Yeah, that's all I can do in the turn. Hopefully we make a little cash off Lothurn there. Now, which, for the game, it makes sense. You're like, oh man, we can establish uh, under Empire, under the Elves' homeland. Though the Skaven never, ever established <laughs> an empire underneath um, Ulthuan. Um, they attempted many times. The little, rat, the little rats just couldn't figure it out. They couldn't do it. Didn't matter, the whole thing sank, so <laughs> that's <laughs> oh god, the end times. Oh, I relive them sometimes. Mm. Yep. Yeah, this is gonna happen. They're gonna start pissing me off. I keep saying Murigilonico and I'm thinking Stalia for some reason, but it's actually Talea. Jeez, how I am getting super mixed up right now. <laughs> it's been a long day, guys, I'll be honest with you. I am currently recording this very, very late at night. Uh, just had a full day of, you know, raising a child and working and doing all these other adult things that I wish I didn't have to do sometimes, though they are rewarding in their own way. Let's, uh, yeah, let's recoup a little bit and then we'll hit Marita. we we'll establish that. You, however... Well, we'll just wait a second. We'll just recover. We'll get our assassin into Ickets. Little horde there. I think we're about where we want to be as far as um, Scave and Blight right now. Uh, one more thing. So, ten more turns and we'll have the next population for the next little piece there. Because we do want to get Doom Flayers. And there's my Warp Lightning Cannon. So, once I have those, I'm going to be awesome. Um, we could even eventually start getting um, gutter runners and then death runners. Which death runners are, whew, they are good. Um, maybe not for Ickit's army, maybe for a different army. But regardless, let's, you know, let's start moving that way. Oh, yeah, we're still good. We're still good to go. Science sorcery. Oh yeah, we can. oh yeah, oh, yeah. We're gonna be doing some raiding here in a second. We're gonna take that. Um, let's see here. That would make the Skaven slaves a little bit more well to do. Not that we're gonna have those forever. So let's up the clan rats. Oh, and it makes them expendable. Oh yes, that is gonna be awesome. So this way, when they break, because they will. Um, I don't have to worry about them so much. You know what? Instead of just resting there. Ooh. No, I just need to, I just need to do it. Shit, I'm not gonna have any money if I do this. Not yet. Search the ruins. Oh, damn it. God, I'm, I'm terrible at these. Okay. Uh, alignment is all. Okay, this has to go way over there. So it makes that. I mean, they all work. Right? Uh, dude, dude, dude. So. I don't know, I'm just going to pick one. Nope, I suck. <laughs> I, I still haven't figured out how to do that one. 
I will eventually. Um, yeah, we need a little bit more money in the treasury before we do anything else. Let's visit the workshop. It's been a while. Uh, weapons teams. I've pretty much boosted them as much as I can. We could get some Doom Rockets. We already have one. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Now, let's, um... 25% chance to build an extra Doom Rocket every time we build one. Let's go ahead and do that. That will benefit us from here on. We might get two occasionally. So let's go ahead and... Did that thing build, I wonder? It did, so we're starting to collect a little something from them. So there's, they're starting to kind of figure out there's something going on. We'll have him still running that way, heading towards the line of Heck! Oh god, Thorgrim's on the move. Guess we could establish more underway under Lustria. That would be actually be pretty damn good. Though, Clint Pestilence might have something to say about that <laughs> if they ever found out. guys gonna do you are really all in at Lucini like way in at Lucini pretty much abandoned your capital to me that's fine it get to can deal with it So the claw is... We're going to take it. Okay, we can immediately assault. We could. Uh, we will lose a lot of rats. <laughs> but at the same time, who cares? I have so many. And with the rat ogres, we can pound through their, through their walls. The only thing that might be a little problematic is the mortars. Uh... Screw it. I think I say we just do this. We got two uses of mints below. Let's make it three. Yeah. We're doing this. I'm saving just in case. But the siege, I feel Which like, is in the back. They barely got any defenses here. Alright, they can't be everywhere at once. So... I'm going to shove. I want to go all in over here. With the exception of the Night Runners. They're going to be over here. And they're going to attempt to distract a whole bunch of them over there. Um, we are going to run in the Rat Ogres after our Clan Rats soak up all of the damage. <laughs> they're going to soak up everything. On the way up, then we'll run in the Rat Ogres, followed by the Claw and his faithful um, assassin, the Clannish Assassin, who I might add looks awesome. They look really good. I really like the uh, design of the assassins. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we can leave our artillery piece back here. Put on guard mode so he doesn't try to run off and do anything stupid. Same thing with the guns. We're gonna leave the. We're gonna put the guns about here. We'll run them up. 
and we'll do the same thing with the uh, the Jezzyles. They'll run. We'll run these up as well. And we should be able to just plow through everything they have. Our storm vermin will come in last. So for this, we'll do this, and we'll take you out of it. Just kind of move them up. This. Jezzyles can actually stop right outside of here. Yes, start hitting that. Uh, I hit the handguns more than the crossbows. They're already starting to target our... Let me get them running in there. You guys, however, come over here. Look, we, we've already split their forces quite a bit. Have them start climbing the walls. You guys, yeah, you start climbing over here. Leave them out of range. Oh yeah. We got spears on the other side. Don't like that. Let's move up the uh, storm vermin now at this point. The gate's not going to hold for long. Lightning down on him. See if we can kill that general. And we will move in our storm vermin. Don't want them climbing walls. you in here. <laughs> God, it's massive damage from the storm vermin. And now the storm vermin in here, let's bring in the big dogs. Taking the walls for sure. They're all heading for the hills. I love it. It's mortars though. Should have been paying attention. But they're gonna regret that now. As we start tearing through them since they left them unguarded. Yeah, this is going. Maybe the claw. This fight up here isn't going so hot. We're, we're not doing that great. The fight down here is not going the best either. Let's see if we can break him. Get our assassin in on that guy for good. Probably tip the scales here. There's too many people in the way is the problem. Too 
close. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's so satisfying for some reason. Uh... You know what? Let's uh be done with this. Well, they had to bring somebody else back to protect this, huh? It's fine. So many damn spearmen here. I'm gonna keep protecting you. I don't need to. Got a storm vermin, not just destroying them. That's what I want to know. Get these two over here to start hitting that mortar. That'd be awesome. They out of, yeah, they're out of ammo. They're useless. So you know, let's retreat out of the range of the mortar. That's all he's doing is just hammering away at us. Let's see here. Okay, we don't want to pursue too far. Stay with him. And actually, we've pretty much got this in the bag at this point. Uh, somebody come back here. Okay, you get over there too. You, however, can come kill this general. He's giving us so much of a problem. You guys take on these swordsmen. You should be able to mop the floor with them. That's it. That's all. That's all they had left in them. Yeah, they broke him. As soon as it came rushing in, it was all over. It's all that's left of the silly man things. <laughs> yes, yes. Oof, Pyrrhic victory indeed. Oof. That was a harsh fight. <laughs> Harsher than I thought it would be. We got a little loot though. We needed that. We definitely need what's coming in here. Let's go ahead and at least get this to level two. Uh, level three, no, level two. Level three, no, level two. Level two, level two. Powered up. So rebuild this. We need that. That's what we need. We need money. Um. We get food. Oh, thank God, we get food. And let's put in Taskmaster's platform. Yeah, 
Yeah, Taskmaster's platform. And we're going to be making food. So, it's a win-win. Plus, we got the final thing of Quartermaster. Yes! So, we're in the positive. Ooh, shit. He needs to build up his troops. So that way, uh, it doesn't cost so much to uh, resettle that. contraptions! Then we might. He's probably going to get away from us, but we have captured Miragulanico from them, and all they have left is Lucini. That's it. So he's still moving just in the middle of the ocean. And uh, yeah, that's probably going to be all the time I've got for this episode, though, unfortunately, guys. <laughs> so. We made uh, a little bit of improvements here. I wish I would have had all of Estalia by now. But uh, sadly, we are working on getting these numbers up. <laughs> we spent all of the treasury. Um, I need to be able to get him here, get him to establish Margarita, so then we can start uh, you know, exploring islands and getting all the extra cash that way. If we can find a Skull Island right now, oh man. Um, I'd definitely take that over everything, but taking over all these port settlements is going to help me quite a bit in the long run, um, getting uh, all that extra money because it is hard to make money as a Skaven, You're pretty much relying on raiding and things of that sort. So, unfortunately, that is all the time I got though. I have, as usual, I've been Jumbo Thick, guys. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Have a good day.